Now let's get you caught up on how things are looking right now outside. Yeah, we actually have crews out this morning both around Indianapolis as well as to our southeast where they've seen a lot more snow. First though, our Anna Carrera is keeping an eye on things around Indy. Uh, we're going to head out to Alan Carter though who is live for us in Decatur County. Alan, how are the roads looking out there, bud? You know, guys, actually not too bad. What a difference a few hours makes. Right now we are on State Road 3. We are heading away from Greensburg going up to Westport. And let's go ahead and take a look. You can see in front of us they have crews that are out here, and they've done a pretty good job. So if you look at the roads, pretty clear. I was asking uh, my photojournalist, uh, Jim, how it's feeling right now, and he says it's pretty smooth. The big difference that we're noticing right now is that you can actually see the lines in the road. And there you go. You see a guy running up passing us here, but he's running into that to the truck there. He's probably going to try to make a pass here in a second again. Oh, breaking here. Uh, but right now we're heading up to Westport. And what we want to look at is, you know, one of the issues that we did see last night, aside from the roads, because it was a little bit dicier last night on the roads, but um, a number of people without power in Westport, over 700 customers, they tell us, lost power because of a uh, transmission strike or something in relation to that storm. So that's one of the things that we're going to look at. They're saying they're still working on that. And actually, we just got an update from Duke Energy saying that they likely won't have that restoration done until sometime around eight o'clock this morning so customers have been going for close to 24 hours now in that area without power they do have warming stations available you can go ahead and check that out on our website wthr.com